Hey everyone, I'm so happy to bring this video to you. It's a mermaid inspired nails. Um, I, I wanted to give that mermaid um, effect. So I hope you guys like this design. It's really easy and really beautiful. So I started off with the stiletto tips. Um, I usually use nail forms when I'm going to do short nails because I don't like to waste tips. But I got a lot of requests um, of you guys asking me if I can do short nails with tips because many of you don't like to use nail forms. So this is another option. I like to use the stiletto tips because they're more narrow than the regular square tips. And I just, in my opinion, it makes the nails look more natural looking. So I start, I'm using pink acrylic, translucent pink. I started off with one bead in the center, a smaller one in the cuticle area, and one in the tip, and now I'm just cleaning the sides. Um, once I'm done with all the nails, I'm using a 100 grit file to just file all the nails, and after that, we buff the nails to make them as smooth as possible. Now I'm dusting away all that excess dust that is left with this brush and whatever is left after that I just spray with rubbing alcohol and, and cleanse with my favorite wipes. They're the soft landings um, wipes. They're my favorite. I'll post a link in the description box if you guys are interested in those wipes. You can use any white polish. Here I'm, I'm applying the first coat of white polish. We use white polish because we want the colors that we're going to put next to stand out. If I wouldn't use white polish um, you wouldn't really be able to see the other colors. So we, the white polish is a base so the colors we add on top can stand out. I'm going to use the Sally Hansen color foil polishes which I'm loving right now. I'm going to use yellow gold, cobalt chrome, and minted metal. These polishes are amazing. I'm loving them. You can buy them wherever Sally Hansen products are sold. But I will post a link in the description box also so you guys can go to their website and get more information. Okay, I'm sponging it on, lightly sponging it on with the, this is the um, cobalt chrome. Starting in the cuticle area, we just lightly sponge it on there. And now the next color is minted metal. Um, we're gonna, that's gonna be the second color, just blend it into that blue. You don't have to be neat, don't worry about it. We're gonna clean off the cuticle area when we're done sponging all the colors on. I've been loving these polishes. The instruction, this color is the yellow metal. I'm gonna put two coats of this one on the tip. Um, Sally Hansen recommends that we only, when we use these color foil polishes, don't use base coat or top coat to give it that full foil effect. And it does look like foil when you don't apply base coat or top coat. But I'm applying top coat because I want this design to last longer. And honestly, I also like it with top coat. So I think these polishes look beautiful with or without. But if you want that full foil effect, don't use top coat or base coat. Okay. Okay, I am I got these iridescent hexes at a craft store. I, think, I believe it was Michael's. You can buy it at any craft store or if you Google it online, I'm sure you'll find it easily. These are iridescent hexagons. I started in the center trying to do a straight line and I'm going to show you guys close up here one more time. I'm using top coat as the adhesive so I applied top coat and now I'm adding these hexes. I'm trying to go in as, as straight as possible in the line in the center. Then you're going to add another row right next to it until you just fill up the whole nails. So as you can see right here I'm adding more top coat. You can add as much as necessary so these can stick onto the nail. And these, these are the nails with the hexes all over them. I'm adding one more coat of top coat. I'm using Seshvi top coat, it's my favorite. And this is the result. I really hope you like them. It's so easy and it just gives it a nice scaly effect. If you guys recreate this design, hashtag me on Instagram as Nova Nails Inc. I really enjoy seeing when you guys recreate these designs, so just hashtag me. And I'm going to leave some information down in the description box. Actually, it's going to be a link to Style Hall's blog. This design is actually going to be there as a picture tutorial. So go check that out. Um, I'm so excited to be a part of that. So I'll leave all the information down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching again. And until next time.